Hi everyone, we are down to day number four for the countdown to New Year's. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Countdown to New Year's. We are on day number four. The kids are still here, so we went out and had another fun day. We're actually going to be going home tomorrow, but I may have another house guest, so I'm excited that my sleepover buddy, Mr. Griffin, may be coming back for the weekend. So anyway, we'll see how that goes tomorrow if that works out. But anyway, I had another fun day with the kids, and I just want to share a little bit of the day with you and then share a little bit of sparkling wine with you. The one we have today is Mezza. And it's an Italian glacial bubbly. And this is just like one day with these, this nail, this OP nail polish. Um, yeah, it is not really good on my nails. I don't know if that how it works on everybody else, but it just does not really stay on the nails that good. Of course, I did not use a base coat or a top coat, so that could be my own fault. But anyway, I do love the color. I love the sparkles. It's so, so pretty. But anyway, let's get this champagne open so we can have a little chance to talk. So anyway, I hope everyone is enjoying this week here. Um between Christmas and New Year's and oh, it's just been so much fun this year with the kids here and just uh, getting to do things every day things that you just really don't think about like you're thinking yeah I don't mind that I'm not going anywhere I don't mind that you know I work from home and don't see too many people but you know when you're you get a chance to see people you should really you should really grab for it it really makes your life so much more interesting so anyway we've got this open we're going to pour a little bit in the glass so anyway, the day started with uh, Jeremy got up early and he went to Dunkin' Donuts and he got us some bagels and some donuts. So we had a nice little quick breakfast today. I'm going to have a quick little sip while it's still nice and bubbly. Cheers, everyone. Happy, happy new year. Very nice sparkling wine really good it is nice and dry just perfect for what we call champagne here but anyway so jeremy did that and then we all had to get ready again um quinn was meeting some of her online friends that she's been going to different concerts with and things like that the ones that she met here in april when they went to the first concert that um she had gone to and so she met those people at the um, Minneapolis Institute for Art. Um, so we dropped Quinn off there, made sure, you know, she got in the building okay. And of course, Marina had her tracker on the phone and said, yep, still there. Yep, still there. They, they never left. We thought they might go walking around or something, but they just stayed in the uh, Minneapolis Institute of Art and just had a blast going through and checking out the different art exhibits and things there. So while Quinn did that, we went to the Southdale Mall, Mall in, I'm, I'm going to say Edina, but I think some people might say it differently. I've never been there, and I've been here for 20 years, and that mall was the first indoor mall in America uh, in 1956. And so I was kind of expecting something maybe a little run down, something really old-fashioned looking. But it had been uh, renovated quite a few times. Um, I think it, they said it started with three floors, and then they added a fourth floor. And, of course, they've been doing reconstruction here and there throughout the years, so it is very modern looking. Tons of wide-open spaces in there. 
And then I was looking at some of the, the history of the mall, and in the middle of the mall before, they had, um, like, a, it looked like an outdoor cafe, so they had tables with umbrellas and indoor gardens and things like that, so that wasn't there anymore, but that kind of accounted for why there was so much wide open spaces in it. They've got different um, things throughout the mall that exciting changes are coming, and when I went online, it looks like they are trying to get some luxury stores to come into that mall, and right now I guess they are maybe in a bidding war or something with um, the Mall of America to get those luxury stores that they are both looking for. But anyway, they also said in 1957, again it was opened in 1956, in 1957 Bob Barker came for five days to host Truth or Consequences, and it said they had 20,000 people come into the mall and check it out. Opening day, they had like 75,000 people come in in 1956, so that was really interesting. So we just did a few stores there. There wasn't, uh, Rainy was looking for something sparkly uh, to wear when she got home to go to a New Year's party. And, of course, she kept finding these pink things, and I said, yeah, pink, I think pink, this hot pink is like the color of the year. Every place we went, it was anything that she kind of liked, she said, but it's pink, I don't want to get pink. So, anyway, she ended up not getting anything. Well, there was a store called Cozy something, and everything in the store was $10. So she got some really nice pajamas or leggings that they are, oh my God, they are so nice. I should have gone in to get some, but I was resting my sciatica. And um, they're just fleece-lined and high quality. So, anyway, she got a, two pairs of uh, pajamas there for the leggings with the leggings and the matching top. So that was a good day for them. Um, went to the toy store. Did a couple of toy stores that we did. And um, Jeremy and uh, Maddie Matt bought a book on airplanes, paper airplanes. So it's like already in the book, you just kind of cut that page out. And it's got, they're all different colors and things like that. And it just shows you how to fold it and what each one is supposed to do. And they're like, this is going to work so good in your house because you've got so, such high ceiling. So when we came home after they, everyone took a nap. My, uh, it became a, a little air, airport, so we had flying airplanes going all over the place. Um, also, they got a book of, and I'm, I'm liking these people do this on the, the uh, face mask Mondays all the time, the would you rather ones, and oh my God, there were some really, really tough ones in there, some that you did not want to pick at all. Yeah, yeah, so they got that as well. They thought that might be a fun parlor game for when they get together with their friends. Um, then... We just wanted to grab something light to eat because we were thinking we were going to pick um, Quinn up about 5 and we figured we would probably eat something while we were in the city before we went home. But uh, we made this mistake of going to DeLille Brothers Pizza. And inside, I mean, Jeremy was like this fanatic. He was taking all kinds of pictures on the wall. Um, it was like an 80s theme place, so they've got like the VHS tapes, the covers and things up on there, like posters and pictures of everything 80s, the arcade games. They had arcade games there, the old style like Pac-Man and Mario Brothers, things like that. So that there were like 25 um, cents to play. Um, they had an old-fashioned jukebox in there, and just the pictures, just the memorabilia was so much fun. Cabbage Patch dolls and uh, one of those big bookcases that you put your console TV in there, and uh, it was just so much to look at. So we got the uh, Party for Four, which was like this giant 18-inch pizza, the, the Brooklyn style and the York style, so that nice crust that you can fold. Yeah, I miss doing that with some of the pizzas out here because you just can't do it with all the pizzas that we have, different pizzas that we have out here. So we had that and some garlic nuts, which we probably shouldn't have had that, but we had that and just some sodas to drink. And yeah, so we were full. And uh, so we walked around for a little bit more. And then uh, Quinn had said, yeah, we're, we're calling the museum. It's closing at 5 and we don't want to go out and walk around. It's too cold. So we headed back to the Minneapolis Institute for Art, picked up Quinn. And because uh, we were too full to eat, so we ended up going to Dunn's Brothers to get some coffees for the road. So we did that. We came home. Everyone kind of sat on the couch, and within, I'd say, between 10 and 15 minutes, boom, five people, nothing on the couch. So anyway, then I woke up and said, you know, I'm going to let everybody sleep. I threw my chili 
um, for my chili bar. I threw that in the crock pot just to get that heating through. And then I actually got to go on YouTube and watch some videos and do some commenting. So I did that for about an hour while we waited for everyone to wake up. And then we just had our dinner and just kind of sat around and just kind of chatted a little bit. Um, they're getting ready to go home tomorrow. So it was doing the laundry and pre-packing and things like that, trying to figure out you know, we took gifts and things out of here. How are we going to get home with all this stuff in our luggage? Of course, the, you know, the boys had been out in the garage. And then I had um, a big box of things that I hadn't used yet that I was saving for either giveaways or future gifts or anything like that. So the three of them went through that big box and took a lot of skincare, some makeup items. So Rana took stuff she wanted. Uh, Quinn took some stuff she wanted, and Maddie Matt took some skin care for, you know, teenage skin, and because because Maddie Matt has a girlfriend now, he picked up some makeup items and lip glosses and things that, that she would like. He ac actually sent her pictures and, would you use this, would you use this, would you use this, so, so they took home quite a bit of face mask and just some things like that, so I got rid of some of those while someone can still use them, and yeah, so I think that was about it for the day. Um, probably try to do something for lunch tomorrow. Um, I think they head to the airport between probably 3 and 4 in the afternoon and they'll be home on the East Coast a little around, right around midnight. So they're excited to go home and see their four kitty cats that people have been taking care of for them. And um, yeah, so it's just been a fun, fun trip having them out here and just going out and doing something every day and just even when the days that we're just slow moving and takes us a while to get going, just kind of sitting around and, you know, someone will pick something they want to watch on TV or the YouTube series that they watch and, um, yeah, so it's just been fun just sitting around talking to everyone and just just having a blast enjoying each other's company and sometimes you don't need to really go out and do things, it's just enjoying each other and just um, staying connected and getting to be part of everyone's life again so that is really really fun so anyway I want to thank you guys for joining me for countdown to New Year's day number four and who knows maybe tomorrow Mr. Griffin will be in the picture with me so anyway I hope everyone goes out has a fabulous fabulous day take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.